I left for the night, dreaming of plums all sugar, and Mama and I just settled in. We were hitting the socks and got schnookered. you know there was a sleigh with eight tiny deer taking a fat crap in the snow. <laughs> then I saw an old geezer in the shadow so quick I knew right then and there it was that old crook Saint Nick. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> More rapid than buzzards his posse came as he whistled and shouted for his crew by name. Now Stasher, now Luda, now Booster and Pips and Pocket and Stupid. And those other two, let's get a fixin'. Then in a twinkling, I heard on my roof the stomping of each little thieving hoof. I pulled out my gun and whipped around quick. I said, I'll be damned if my chimney is gonna belch out St. Nick. <laughs> Yet there before me he stood. All I could think was to take my aim. Eyes closed, I fired, and thought I got him good. But as I looked up, he was exactly the same. He was decked out in fur, pimps from head to foot. His face covered in ashes, his empty sack <laughs> His eyes, how they twinkled. I knew what he was thinking. His mouth in an evil grin, and his bodded butterscotch breath a stinking. I fired again, but I was all out of ammo. Like a bowl full of hammers, he sucker punched me, just like... Kablamma! <laughs> the stump of his stogie held tight in his cheek as he scanned all my belongings to see what he could be queen. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled his bag with my things, that little jerk, laying his middle finger aside of his nose, giving the bird up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his goons, gave a whistle. And away they all flew, with the speed of a missile. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Screw you, I took your things! Merry Christmas, good night! <laughs> and live from Studio C, it's Friday's Live! Such comedy shows that ruined everything, and the one university who had no choice but to put up with them. It's a Friday's development. because it's written to appeal to our 39 plus audience, of which I am a part. Yeah, okay. Well, you might hear us talking about things that only old people do, like washing their hands. <laughs> so, if you don't like tonight's episodes, don't blame the students. Blame old people for being boring and unfunny. I can't believe Cecil is the first faculty member to host our show. Yeah, me too. Especially with how long the show has been around for. You think the faculty hate us or something the way they avoid this show? Yeah, right. <laughs> right, Cecil? Uh, right, Cecil? Stick around for some more great content, plus a musical <laughs> performance by Mia Leland. Don't go anywhere. Hold on, I have to remember what it is. 
Beyond the Bricks, a segment where we take you beyond the brick walls of Studio C into the brick walls of every other building here on campus in an attempt to get to know our host. Today I'm here with Cecil Hauser. And Cecil, what's your role here at the university? You know, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, usually I am here in the equipment room where we are this morning. Um, I oversee this as the media production supervisor. I think that's just the title they gave me to sound more important than it really is because I'm in a space with no windows. I think I like to build stuff. I always liked to play with Legos when I was a kid. What do you... <laughs> and um, <laughs> then... Uh, you know, it kind of grew from there. I think I like to tear those cages apart or put them back together because they get torn apart by the students a lot. You want to show us your little corner over here? Oh, yeah. I kind of adopted this as where I sit, but this is technically the technician's desk, like, for repairs. This is the closest thing that I have to an office. Um, I'm not allowed to um, mix with the other people outside of this space. Like, I'm not allowed to go talk to faculty or the dean. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Uh, there was an incident at Walmart. That was a little bit too <laughs> TBI. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> TBI? TMI. TBI is something. That's tuberculosis. It's 9 a.m. here in the equipment room for everyone watching at home. Hey, how about we look at a tripod and set it up and see how the components work? Yeah, I would say that I'm scared of the tripod. Yeah. Why is this thing right here? Uh, this probably needs to help. See, it's working. Um, they See, so how about you explain to us your favorite part of Schoonover? This isn't my favorite place because it's it's lonely. It's no windows. It's like being in prison. Not that I would know what that's like. My favorite space in the building. This is exciting. Probably my all-time favorite space is our Foley studio on the fourth floor. 448. Fantastic. I mean, we just, so that's only been around for like eight years. So it's a great space. It's actually a state of the art. Yeah, last time I was in there, um, I was just playing with dirt in the Foley room and I didn't have to worry about the tech. Yeah, dirt, sand. If you take your shoes and socks off and just stick your feet in the sand, it's almost like you're at the beach. You put a little warm lamp there and you're like, I'm spending my day at the beach in the dark. You, you don't turn on the lights. Not really. I just want to feel that sensation and lock it into my mind. I feel like the sand crabs are pinching your toes. I think that's just all the twigs that are in the pits of dirt. Oh. <laughs> Don't ruin my fantasy. <clears throat> We're venturing. Scoon over. <laughs> I was a Russian... Secret Service agents at KGB. Navy SEALs came and took me out. It was fun. Yeah, it was pretty cool. But the movie's horrible. It's called Ratopolis. Ratopolis. It's about the President of the United States being mutated into a rat. I don't know why and I don't know how, but whoever doesn't fight corruption will be turned into filthy, dirty rats. Is it the end of the world? Oh. I will stop this. A worldwide epidemic. Oh, they decorated for Christmas. Yeah, this is the, so this is the School of Media Arts and Studies. <clears throat> this is where real people get offices. I do have a mailbox up here. This is so cool, I'm excited. I have things. It's the academic calendar, I'm so excited. It was in my mailbox. Um, Got my academic calendar. Hey, closing commencement. December 16th. That's coming up a couple weeks. Oh, you're graduating, aren't you, Max? Max is, is not graduating. This is, this is news to me. Is Olivia graduating? <laughs> no, but oh, he's okay. graduating. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. We have you for a couple years. Yeah. I hear that it used to be your dream to be a rapper. Yes. When I was 14, I realized there were white rappers, and one particular guy, his name was Vanilla Ice, is Vanilla Ice, and I... I I kind of fell in love with his music at the time. I went to see his only movie, Cool as Ice, and he had the coolest line. 
I gotta share this with you. So he was really into this girl and he rolls up on his motorcycle to her house, does one of those side slides, but he parks it perfectly and he gets off the bike and it's just, it's this epic moment where Vanilla Ice delivers his most powerful line and the most pick, powerful pickup line that nobody uses ever anymore. I don't know why. He gets off the bike and he goes, yo, drop the zero and get with the hero. And that was it. It was like that moment I knew I wanted to rap. <clears throat> I had thought that I could be the Q-tip and then I found out that Q-tip was actually already taken. Hey, thanks for joining us for On the Bricks. Beyond the Bricks. Beyond the Bricks. And this is so awesome to have you. People of the North Pole, welcome hopefully to the only ever Santa auditions. I'm one of your hosts, Buddy the Elf. And I'm... I'm the Red Ring. The... More eggnog, please. Uh... Okay, uh, so let's meet our first contestant, Mr. Seth Rogen! <laughs> so, uh, why do you think you would be a good Santa? <laughs> I got the laugh down, and I'm a pretty down-to-earth guy. Down-to-earth is exactly what we don't want! The last Santa went down-to-earth 600 miles an hour, straight to the ground! <laughs> Well, I mean, the laugh is one thing, yes, part of it, but do you have as much holiday spirit as I do? I got weed. <laughs> okay, moving on to our next contestant, Cookie Monster! <laughs> so, uh, why do you feel you make a good Santa? Mm, cookie, me like. Cookie, Santa, like cookie, perfect, am I not? No, that's the least important part about being Santa, the cookies. Are you serious with yourself, man? But me love cookie. Me eat you instead, reindeer. Words. Go ahead and try all the lines you. Please take cookie off. DiCaprio. Please tell me you brought something good. Well, old sport, I do love the 25 and under crowd. Nope, <laughs> nope, next! <laughs> President Snow! Well, I looked the part, and I know exactly what to do with the naughty kids. Finally, somebody who is taking this seriously. I will make them fight to the death in the naughty games, and only, and only the victor will receive presents for Christmas. Guards, take him away. But, but, but wait, I have eggnog. Wait, wait, maybe that guy's not so bad. Rudy, trust me, that's just the eggnog. Is there anyone left? Me. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Yeah, the rats were terminated. I, I, I. Terminated? I can't take it anymore. There, there, buddy. How about some odds? together here. Why do you think you would make a great Santa? Uh, well, uh, I mean, come on. I was... <laughs> Santa... <laughs> it's obvious, right? I was the governor of California. The governor of California! And I, I, I could get the 
I can bring back Santa Claus to the box office returns it deserves to with my muscles. Ah, ah. What about uh, Hercules and the other one? Yeah. We don't talk about those. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, right. Well. Um, there really is no one else like Santa. The real Santa. What's up, my slime? No. for Captain Hook in Peter Pan the Musical. Arg! <laughs> no, that was bad. Can you be Peter Pan, please? I, I can try. Okay. Ah, the boy. I'll never grow old. Have a seat, Sarah. No, this didn't work. Hi. Hi. So, Yarg! Ah, you crocodile, you are. Hey, kid, s stop! Peter, Peter, Peter Pan! Arg! Arg! You're gonna nail this one. I'm not gonna nail this one. I'm shouting Peter Pan in the alley. You'll never grow up. Wait, no. I got this. Hey, it's me. You're my pal. I can't get the character right. Like, what? I don't know. It's like, Arg, me matey! Okay. Arg. Maybe you should just audition for Peter Pan. I think you could do it. I can fly! I'm a real boy since 1973. I, 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 grew, I grew up in Neverland. Never left. I'm Peter Pan. I'm a real boy. Ooh. Play hook like my toy. Keep it twisted. Peter Pan on the street. <laughs> Do you remember the alligator? I think that I don't deserve the role of Captain Hook anymore. But if you don't play Captain Hook, who will? Oh, we're ready? Okay, let's go. Archie, how are you? Fabulous. Would you like to say something? I just have so much to do. Hello. Hi, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Zoe. Uh, yeah, can you introduce yourselves? I am Trinity Sweet. I don't have a name. He's do that. What are your words of wisdom for for self-care? Schedule time for self-care in your calendar. Yeah. Yeah.
Hey. Would you like to be interviewed? Uh, my lips are kind of chapped. I love life. We are on the same page today. We are having the same day. Same day. <sighs> Look at us. Existence is meaningless. Uh, I think we got to a place where I can really say that uh, I'm proud of the detestable person you are today. Yeah, facts. So, how, how are you? Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Pete Souza. Yeah, I'm a professor emeritus. Oh. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it means I'm an old guy and I used to teach here. What if we asked someone to play jump rope with this? Wouldn't that be crazy? Would you like to say something to the viewers of Friday's Live? Tell me what Friday's Live is. It's like Saturday Night Live, but at OU and on Friday. Uh, okay, I didn't know this was comedy. Do you have a favorite joke? Do I have a, a favorite joke? What do you call an alligator with a vest? I don't know. An investigator. That joke is courtesy of my three-year-old <laughs> granddaughter. <laughs> Thank you, Pete Souza. Thank you.
kind of good mister, but we're going to get going and uh, go see our mom. <laughs> Vanessa! Hi, Dad. Uh, you said you wanted me here for the holidays. <laughs> but, but the snow, I, I didn't think you'd actually take me up on it. Yeah, well, Mom and her stupid new boyfriend left town, so I figured this was better than nothing. Oh, okay, I didn't need to know that. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Being a professor of media at Ohio University has always been my dream. I fought long and hard to get where I am today. You know, media is no joke. Over the course of my tenure, I've been able to develop a system of training that will make sure that students of media will be competitive in the marketplace. It's absolutely critical that students learn to collaborate. They must connect with themselves and others. On their first year of set, Cecil requires that his students wear sound-canceling headphones so they can learn to communicate with their other senses. God, I love my job. The kids are great. They're so enthusiastic. And we've even done some great acting exercises, too. Cecil requires that his actors learn the script front to back and also back to front. They rehearse all their lines in reverse. Trip the handle, can't you? Refuse, can't he? Offer and him make? Two going, I'm. Again, with passion. Trip the handle, can't you? Refuse, can't he? Offer and him make? Two going, I'm. So beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> The camera guys have to earn their spot. You know, it, the Cecil method isn't the most efficient, but I can tell you becoming a visionary isn't easy. A camera person is required to capture stop motion video before he is allowed to use the video feature on the camera. The audio guys that come out of the Cecil school are some of the best in the business. And it's because they know how to adapt we're talking real dead cats. Before every editing session, Cecil requires that his students lay on the floor, close their eyes, and envision their movie from beginning to end. If someone makes a sound, he resets the clock. <coughs> All right, you guys know the drill. Sometimes, if they're on good behavior, I bring them a treat. All right, guys, let's go. Line up. Treat time. But I'm allergic. Really? Yeah. <sighs> yes, cough drop. Positive reinforcement is key. Cecil is the greatest teacher of all time. I don't want any of these kids getting scoliosis. Most teachers don't even care. Hey, does anybody know a four-letter word for the word movie? Movie. Film. No! <laughs> While some may say that his teaching tactics are unusual, the Cecil method is tried and true, and his students love him for it. Heck yeah! All right, when is this thing coming out?
think you gotta raise your hand. Um, Warren, go ahead. <laughs> hey, Cecil, what do you think about hosting so far? You know, I think it's great. I'm glad to be able to see my students outside of the classroom doing their own work. Um, this is what makes the job so rewarding. In fact, it's so great that I'm going to give you both an extra 100 points on your final projects. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're so awesome and cool. <laughs> also, you two are my favorite students. What the? Okay. Which one of you wrote this? Hmm? Who wrote this? What do you mean? I, I didn't yeah. write anything. Uh, You're saying this on your own free will. I... Now keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you two have to do the final anymore. <laughs> this show is so hip, cool, and slay. Come on, Ryan. See, you really, told do you, you expect the viewers to believe that? I told you he wouldn't say slay. Why are you mad at me? I'm only doing this because you're failing video production. Okay, hasn't anyone told you kids that the best way to get ahead in life or anything is to work hard? Um, but could you be perhaps a little money? Oh my God. How much money are we talking? Stick around for some more great content and today's latest headlines up next. News, truth, facts. Live from Studio C, real news, fake news, tomorrow's news, today. News you can trust, 24 hour, non-stop coverage. You're A News. A News with Chance Lane. Good evening and welcome to A News. I'm your host, Chance Lane. And I'm your guest host, Cecil Hauser. In fact, uh, it will behoove you to know that a horse got out of its enclosure on a flight to Belgium, forcing the plane to make an emergency landing in New York. Upon landing, reporters asked the pilot, why the long face? To which he responded, I don't know. I thought that's the way all horses look. <laughs> OSU lost in heartbreaking fashion against Michigan, a team with no coach. Ryan Day probably feels a lot like the coach who lost to Air Bud. A moose was spotted in central Minnesota, in, cent in central Min Minnesota, far southward from its usual habitat, with some, some saying it might have even gone as far, as far south as Iowa. Many have followed the moose's journey throughout the state, but for now, the way it got there remains a moosery. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Cuban has sold his majority share of the Dallas Mavericks and quit the show Shark Tank. At 65, I think he's getting a little ambitious with this midlife crisis. <laughs> Researchers have found that penguins take thousands of naps a day for a few seconds at a time to protect their chicks. Despite this, they get about 11 hours of sleep each day. They almost sleep as good as I did after I gave Chance an F on his project last week. <laughs> you didn't give me an F, you gave me a B. I did. Thanks for letting me know. Damn. <laughs> Children around the world are putting together their holiday wish lists. So want, some want a new Xbox, while others want a hippo. But for one little girl, the only thing she wants is her two front teeth. Here to comment is little Susie. <laughs> Hey Susie, how's it going? Uh, Susie? Shh. I'm literally playing Roblox right now. <laughs> Have you thought about what you might want from Santa for Christmas, little Susie? Mm, yeah, I asked him for an elf ball. Uh, and then also I asked him for the Peter Griffin skin and Fortnite. <laughs> what about your two front teeth? got me veneers. <laughs> veneers? How old are you? Seven. Oh my god. Are you younger than Pokemon Go? <laughs> Trust me, it only gets worse. What do your friends want for Christmas? Mm, well, my friend Tyler wants a roll of zines. Hands? I think he might be a little young for those. Huh? Oh, well, he probably won't get them. Because I think he's going to be on 
to Naughty Wiz this year? Because he didn't send me any Phantom Tax. <laughs> Are you even saying words right now? You have no Wiz. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> Damn it, kid, you broke him. Chance Lane. And I've been Cecil Hauser. And we'd like to wish you a happy holidays from your friends at A News. Signing off. Hey, you know me on Fridays Live, I think it is. Um, I'm Aiden, and this is my first street walking, and this is Trey. Um, he's on Fridays. And this is Ethan. And he's on Fridays, and we're gonna be asking some people some questions, so follow me. Um, what do you want for Christmas this year? Um, for Christmas this year, I would probably say I want a pair of earmuffs. That's so lame, it's not even funny. Tell me why Goodfellas doesn't have chocolate milk on the menu. Um, we sell bubblies and soda. But not chocolate milk, though. Like, look at this. Look at this like, beautiful. You want a carton of milk to be sold to you? Anything. What do you guys want for Christmas? The squirrel to be out of my house. So, we're at Lydia's dorm, and she's like a big Friday seal, and we're gonna make her really mad and knock on her door and interview her. With a butt like mine, I'm not getting kicked out of Strip City. What? Don't you eat, Aiden. That is the question. Have you looked at me recently? I eat it all, baby. All of it. Everybody, this is Strip City. Shh. Okay, here goes nothing. Guys, I'm really scared. What if she eats me? Hi. Hi. One, two, three, go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Alright, we're leaving. Alright. Bye, Lydia. <sighs> While well, I am down one Wendy's Chili, um, I am up in Christmas spirit. Um, I learned that there's hot nuts available, which I don't know what that is. Sunday, Tony's dollar twenty-five hot nuts. Oh, I'm so serious. It's the craziest deal. I can't have that. I am like 14 years old. How old are you? Uh, I'm actually 55. Okay. Well, in that regard, it's really freaking cold, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.
Now, I know that Christmas is still a few days away, but Santa was doing some holiday shopping and stumbled upon something pretty crazy. Could Santa write a pre-Christmas gift? Can we unwrap it? Of course. It's a human, it's a human-sized elf on the shelf toy. Isn't it nifty? Dad, that's a person. Nonsense. <laughs> he may look real, but apparently he's entirely robotic. Well, aren't you going to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm from Utah. I was abducted by Santa Claus and forced to be an elf at a young age. I was being punished for committing nefarious acts of violence towards turtles. It was a whole thing. See? Uh, Dad, can I set him on fire? No, son. From this day forward, we stop acting like a freak. <laughs> well, uh, I think it's time for you kids to go to bed. And hey, don't be surprised when our, our guy here moves around the house tonight while you're asleep. Whatever. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hi, Elvis. Please see Good, good. <laughs> Ryan, I was listening outside, and uh, you cannot tell them you're from Utah. Elves are not from Utah. I mean, it doesn't matter now, but let's think about that for the future, okay? Sorry, sir. So where is he? He's in his bedroom, sir. Ooh, did you see him? How is he? Terrible, sir. <laughs> did you see him? Did you witness him torturing any turtles? Killing any turtles? No, I didn't, sir, but... I freaking love turtles! <laughs> what was that? Turtles! Turtles! Are you okay, sir? Tell me. I'm gonna do that little brat. We're gonna cook him up and eat him. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do? We're gonna cook him up. Oh yeah! Say it again! We're gonna cook him up and eat him, sir. Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! And why are we gonna do that, Ryan? Because he kills turtles. Oh, ah! 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 myself lonesome behind the factory. Oh, I remember. I remember it was Christmas Day and the townsfolk put on the nutcracker. We both attended and had the most joyous evening. He barely fit into those seats. <laughs> that was the last memory I have of him. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's the jingle jangle of my childhood. Yes. Oh, do you know the dance? Yes, sir. Would you like to dance with me, Kendrick? My name's Ryan, but sure. Your name is Kendrick. Okay, sir. <laughs> Hello? 
Ew, creepy wizard. Get away from us, freak. No. I have something to show you guys. Something magical. Listen, man. We really need to get on our way. Oh, I get it. You two are afraid of trying my latest brew. Listen, freak. We're not going to buy drugs from you. I get it. I get it. I guess I'll just take my Rufus juice back and drink it all by myself. Wait. Rufus juice? Yes. I'm interested. Henry! Becca, relax, relax. I've heard of this before. Rufus you sent? Eh? Does it really do the thing? Of course it does the thing. I'm very good at making Rufus juice. What does it do? <laughs> How does she not know what Rufus juice does? Is she stupid? Becca, it powers the machine. The machine is now present. It's mechanical and cold, but yet slightly fleshy. Verbose words fail to convey its true horror. The machine is a pointless thing. It has no purpose other than to be. Tubes lead to nowhere. Valves scatter its brain. It pulsates almost like it's breathing. It can't be alive. It can't be alive. There is a god. It mustn't be alive. The machine has no faith in any god. Its only truth is to be powered. Its belly is as deep as Maria's trench. Powerful is its thirst for the juice of Rufus. Horrible feelings arise in Becca. She screams but on deaf ears. Her face begins to melt as the feelings of terror arise. The sun burns a blood red. Henry and the wizard sheer in heinous delight. Day has faded into a dark and horrible night. The wizard and Henry are now melting as well. The scared laughter is the only reaction to this horrible sight. Their bodies drip on a bottle of Rufus juice. Do you feel lonely? Depressed? Maybe you're feeling isolated. Do you have a little bit of the twinge of that pain from post-pandemic itchiness? What about the feeling of having all six of your therapists run off all at once? Ever wonder why? Let me tell you. Life ain't easy. Especially for a clown. But I have a solution. I'm here to give it to you today. We're all just trying for the same thing in life, right? A little happiness, a little peace, a little break from that crazy insanity we call a world. I want to share with you a little love, teach you what the world should be about. Kindness, happiness. We don't have to feel like this all the time. We need to feel love for one another. Get out of that pain, out of that angst of being alive trying to make it day after day with our giant jug of water, the one we're going to drink out of. Ah, I think there was a fish in there. <laughs> I'm telling you something, you don't have to be alone. No, you could be a part of the bigger picture. And I'm about to give you the solution to that bigger picture. There are people out there just like you who want to live a life of happiness, of want, of need, of love. I'm one of them. And guess what? So are you. So let's say to hell with whatever crap you're going through. And here's the solution. It's for you to get off your damn ass and watch Friday's Live!
They have no idea what they're going to argue about. All right, let's welcome our contestants. Over here we have... Sam. And? Elena. And what's your team's name? Team one. Team one. Team number one. <laughs> Bread. 
But it's just not, it's just, I don't know, much like France, sorry to get back there. It's not real. Not really a sandwich. And I'm very passionate about this side. Five there. seconds. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, team one, your thoughts? Alright, Aiden, I didn't want to do any personal attacks, but I want to start off, and I want you to not take this personally, but I don't like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time for this. Okay, <laughs> let's get back to the subject at hand. Fifteen seconds. Uh, open-faced sandwiches are just as valuable as, you know, closed-faced sandwiches, because, you know, some people are open, some people are closed. Seconds. Some books are open, some books are closed. Just because it's open doesn't That's mean time. it's not valid. What you're Team describing three. is a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> a pizza with whatever ingredients you choose, but a pizza nonetheless. At the end of the day, you can fold a pizza and seconds. it becomes something else. But before you fold it, it is an open book. It is disgusting slop for the for the plebeians of this Five world seconds. to consume at will. Amen to that, baby. Go Packers. That's right. <laughs> All right. You heard it here today. There might be a good show on Disney Junior. France might be real. And an open face sandwich might be a sandwich. But the real answers are up to you. Good evening. We hope you're having a wonderful time viewing our season finale of Friday's Live. The following broadcast is not going to be your average digital short. Hit, hit it with like a meow. <laughs> meow. It is in fact a blooper reel all of all of our skits and digital shorts from this season. <laughs> I think it'll humor you. You might even snicker. I'm milking my enemies. Perhaps slightly exhale out of your nose as you lean back in your seat in the viewing room. But I must warn you, in this blooper reel is a bunch of crazy theater college kids going off script, uh, probably falling over a little bit, something like that. If you are highly sensitive or you have highly sensitive children, I suggest you exit them from the viewing room now, tonight, instead of writing us angry letters tomorrow. With that said, enjoy. Remy! <laughs> That's it again. Okay, we can do it again. Get even closer to his face. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I guess. Ratatouille. Remy. Remy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. Oh, 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 why am I kind of, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There was an idea of Patrick Bateman, some kind of imaginary friend, but there's no real. <laughs> Sam! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I love Yo Play Yogurt as my fuel before I hit the runway. You. <laughs> Look Sorry. everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to look at the camera, you can. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but. <laughs> um. Okay. This is called for drama. <laughs> One more time. Art. This is for art. I'm gonna hit alcohol. Thank you. Yep. It like a baby. Mario Magnus. And the person would be like, what? 
that's okay. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> okay, do it one more time, no Ryan laugh. You can nail it this time. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> got got milk? Got milk. She wouldn't be my dairy queen, because I'm not a Burger King. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Yeah, I guess. And then quiet on set. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Sorry, I love you guys. Now we do some great um, acting exercises as well. With your mom. <laughs> <laughs> the camera guys have to earn their spot. You know, it's not easy to know the words. <laughs> Put that in your smoke and pipe it. Ooh. Biatch. Ooh. <laughs> We're talking real dead cats, bitch. Bitches. Biatches. <laughs> We're talking real dead cats. Biatches! <laughs> We're talking real dead cats. Biatches! Cause if you fart it like this, you can fart it like that. And if it farts like this, you can fart it like that. Come fart. Oh my God, guys, if you audition. You have anything you want to say, Kyle? Um, uh, Fortnite. <laughs>
January rain Patters down the street Children complain that their feet aren't buried in the snow Children's steps begin to slow But something they don't know is that you were their ice friend long ago Today is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. His name is Jay, so if we could get text, emails, monetary donations, whatever you can afford. Um, this is a song for him also. Yeah, it's uh, Happy Birthday by Stevie Wonder. So anyone that knows the chorus and would like to sing along, please go ahead. Um, <laughs> It also starts on a C. Clearly I'm less practiced than I should be, but um, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't make much sense. There ought to be, oh my God, be a law against anyone who takes offense to this day of your celebration and I know you oh that's not it (laughs) guys this performance is going down in history for real Um, and I know you know you must agree oh there it is (laughs) 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 thanks guys And I know you must agree It couldn't fit more perfectly To have a world party On this day you came to be Happy birthday to ya Happy birthday to ya Happy birthday Happy birthday to ya Happy birthday to ya Happy birthday That is the end. join us next season, season 52, and we look forward to that. Good night, everybody. (laughs)